Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Fortress of Angkor, where Lady Nawaporn finally has approved Frigoberto, Frigoberto de Valencia's request to be his wife and sort of business partner, I guess you'd say. What finally did it was Frigoberto rescued some nobles that were held captive by the Shan, and apparently they were related to her, or were friends to her, or something, but it improved her liking of our friend Frigoberto, and so now she wants the marriage to happen, but I need to ask her father. So first of all, is there any word from my family? No word so far. Okay, so she's not going to tell me where her father is. I guess it's too no, too much to hope that he's here, but this must be my future mother-in-law. Hello. I need to know the location of someone. This would be Okia Pichai, your husband. Sisyphon and Bantier Niang. Okay. And let me tell you what I have accomplished since we last were together. Frigoberto has recovered Pitsanilok, although the Shan are about to take Pichai. Frigoberto has also taken Sukothai. Frigoberto took Denang, and then we made peace with the Lei. So Denang is now sticking with Ayuthaya, and hopefully it will be garrisoned before hostilities break up. Or I should say start again. We took Batambang and Angkor from the Mac. We are now at peace with them, so we kept those. We're at war with the Portuguese, but they have not, as of yet, decided to attack anything. Probably because they are at war with a number of people. Tongu we're at peace with. So, where were we supposed to go again? No, not reports. But actually, notes. Okia Pichai. And characters. Sisyphon and Bantier Nang. So Sisyphon is my castle. There it is. So he's right around the corner. Right around the corner. Let's go find Okia Pichai. And I've been fighting Shan left and right because they are so powerful, so I've actually kept most of my difficult... Or not difficult, but most of my tough troops. There he is. My soon-to-be father-in-law. Maybe he'll join me in my new kingdom. Come on, Okipi Chai. I have done so many great things for Ayathaya. Hopefully, they will not. Yeah, I'm his brave champion. He's devoted to me. Let's see. I wish to ask you something. I want to marry your daughter. I ask for your blessing. Splendid news, my young man. I shall be proud to have you in our family. Well, you'd better. I mean, I'm literally the most powerful warrior in all of Southeast Asia right now. The Shan are just getting scattered like the winds to my attack. Yep. Wow. I spent a ton of money recently to purchase a hand cannon, and I think that was the smart thing to do because he's only asking me for 13000 There you go. Alright. So now we just have to wait until he holds the feast and we can get married. In the meantime, let's go fight some more Shan. Oh, now we're at war with the Mac again. But Portugal's at war with the Shan and Longvec. We're pretty low on money at this point. We're down to 11,587. So that is not the best situation to be starting a kingdom. But the reason all that money's gone is I spent 40000 on a hand cannon. I spent, you saw, 13000 to get married. And I've been 
basically recruiting hundreds and hundreds of peasants and turning them into Jatilenka Barts, which is not cheap. I have something like 500 or more of them. My first city is going to have a thousand people guarding it, just to be safe. Because Frigoberto's the best around. Nothing's going to ever take him down. He's the best around. Nothing's going to ever take him down from cities to towns. He's making his enemies look like clowns. He's the best around. Nothing's going to ever bring him down. I don't want to fight farmers. Who are these people? Is the king in here? No. The prince is, but the prince loves me. It's the king I really need to improve the standing with. No, none of this looks good. I'm just going to take Pichai back. Leave. I didn't check to see who was in there. 69 people? Ooh, 69. Let's see. Will you just surrender to me? Yes. Alright, and Pichai is back in the hands of Ayutthaya. The Shan thought they were being cute, but they were not. And just to prove a point, I'm going to take Nan from them as well. Yes. Because I'm Frigoberto. Frigoberto de Valencia. Alright. Support. I want you here. Archers. Get on the high ground. Already Frigoberto got hit. What are these guys doing? Tipsuda took out one of them already. Frigoberto, by the way, is now level 39. Tipsuda's raised a couple levels too. You know what's kind of funny is my vanguard right now is 50 Waco bandit leaders. And where I got them from is when I took Da Nang, they had like 50 leaders and like 250 Waco bandits. I couldn't get all the bandits, but I did get all the leaders. So that's why you see this huge Waco bandit leader army fighting under the banner of Frigoberto. I should have brought the hand cannon to try it out. I gotta remember to use it for all sieges now, especially defensive ones. He's the best around. The Shan aren't gonna bring him down. No, they're not. Oh, there's not, it's not even worth fighting this. These guys have already taken it. All right. And the reason I lead with the bandit leaders, not only are they amazing, but also I don't really care too much if they die. Although we're down to relatively few infantry. Look at that. All those Waco bandit leaders just killing everything. All right. Archers, move up to here, please. Please. Okay, here they come. So we'll have range support. The Frigoberto needs to protect them. So he's going to do that from over here. Excellent. It's time to rough these guys up. You know, I was thinking, when I do have my own kingdom, that is to say, when Frigoberto has his own kingdom... You, the viewer, have seen plenty of Ayutthaya's troops. And as I love them, I have them. But I want to give you a different experience. So you've seen the Portuguese, right? Because we fought alongside the Portuguese at the beginning. You've seen the Mac, since we were mercenaries for them. And you've seen an awful lot of Ayutthaya. So I was thinking maybe we could do either Shan or Burmese troops. That is, the troops of Tongu. The Tongu troops look awesome. I don't know how good they are. Like, I don't know how they rate against Jatulankabarts, but they're certainly beautiful. The Shan are not beautiful, but they did not become one of the greatest empires in the game right now by being weak. So I assume they're pretty tough, and they have those great hats that I like so much. 
All right. Seven dead. And we took that whole castle. So we're sending a message. Some people send horses' heads. Frigoberto takes castles. But really, what I love to do is wait till the Shan super stack comes with their thousand troops. And I wait till nighttime so that they can't support each other in battle. And I just pick them off one at a time. It is so much fun. It takes forever. I mean, it's if I were to show it on camera, it'd be episode after episode after episode. But it's really fun to take out like a thousand man army in little chunks. One, two hundred lord at a time. Let's see, we're currently up to, as I said, we have, we're leading with 30 Waco Bandit leaders, plus some Burmese Vanguard, Siamese Berserkers, Portuguese Mercenaries, and then finally our Ayutthayan Vanguard, which are our Jatulankabart feeders. We have the Jatulankabarts down at the bottom. There's 105 currently in my party, which again is why I'm out of money. In fact, we should really be watching out right now because our cost is more than the money we have on hand. And that will be refilled as soon as we make it to the salt mines. But that comes about a week later. So it's in our best interests, I think, to... Yeah, so we're in trouble now because we are basically out of money. And our troops are going to start defecting. No, you're not going to get Pichai. Yeah, see how cool these guys look? I'm going to do it cheaply here. I know it sucks, but... We lost three Jetulankabarts. But we did gain a ton more... Income generators. Mountain Bandit leader, yes. Okay, fine. All right, we need money, though. So let's take anything, really. All right. Set up that feast, man, so I can marry your daughter. Pitsana Lock looks relatively safe. There's probably Shan over there. All right, we need to sell a lot. There's my hand cannon. Oh, wow. I bought it for 30, but I can only sell it for 5. That's the economics of Mountain Blade for you. And I have a ton of saddle horses. Wow, that didn't really give me much money, did it? Oh boy. Let's just see if there is a ransom broker in here. To get money the traditional way. Yes, there is. Okay. Alright. That wasn't nearly as good as the mines, but Bunma Iron Flesh, I don't think have I tried you? I think I have, and I think you didn't like us. Oh, I finally got Tip Suda, those black Portuguese boots. And Winhimu has them as well, so now I just need to get them for or sorry, Dobby has them. I need to get them for Winhimu. Shopper Kimpy looks pretty good already. So, but I definitely gotta get rid of those golden shoes. They are no fun. But we do have some money now, so let's head on over and see if we can't take out some Shan. I'm not going to upgrade any soldiers. We have three days worth of supplies. Oh, wow. See, see how many there are? So I wait till they're traveling and I pick them off one at a time. But this is not the perfect opportunity for that. Although here comes the armies of Ayutthaya. Good to see you guys are here. Why don't you attack them? That would be nice. You could beat him, probably. Is the king with you? I just want to go say hi to him. And he'll say something like, Wow, Frigoberto, I heard that you beat so-and-so somewhere, and that really makes me happy, so I'm going to like you slightly more. But no, it does not appear as if the king is part of this company. There's the prince. Where's the king? I guess he must be in Aithaya. Who are you? Okia Mac. You're a Mac, dude. Who are you? Okia so-and-so. Yep, there's the king. Let's go say hello. How's it going, king? I'm about to get married. And as soon as I do that... 
I'm no longer going to be a vassal of yours. Who are you? Okpra Sumihiro. Alright, now we're up to 71. That's good. We can get it even higher by asking who he supports for Pitsanilok, and I'm going to say I would support your choice. So now he likes me even more. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Who are you? Okpra Sumihiro? Oh, you're just some dude? Alright. Well, I must beg my leave from you, sir. So, because we are close to getting married, which means we are close to starting our own kingdom, what Frigoberto is going to do right now is he's actually going to make a delivery. Large groups of enemies near Korad, huh? Let's see, how many Jetilankabarts do I have here in Sisyphon? 65. Okay, who do I get rid of to make room for them? Let's go with the Arabian Guard, the Naka Marauders, Forest Bandits, the Mon Rebels, Laosh and Cav, Caravan Guard, Volunteer Guard, Mon Rebels, Caravan Masters. That should be enough, right? Not quite. 20 more. Mountain Bandit Leaders. Veteran Mon Rebels. Japanese Mercs. Huntress. Veteran Guard Leader. Now? Alright, we got them all. And... Do I have any... Sharpshooters. I can get Royal War Elephants, but they're useless guarding cities. Well, I mean, they're not useless. I'm sure they'll be fine, but they're not really great. Let's take the Palace Guards. Alright. Okay, and now we're going to head to Frigoberto's hideout. We don't have to worry about... Really, Mac... It looks like the battle's already happened. Alright. So first of all... It's hand cannon time. Excellent. Let's get in there. And join the battle. And it looks like this battle has no sound. Excellent. Boom. I don't think anything happened there. I expected a bit more from that. Okay, I can hear occasional arrow fire, but the sound is all wonky. So far, the hand cannon is definitely not paying for itself, I'll tell you that. It has twice the accuracy of my gun, so it should do something. Okay, proficiency in crossbows. That's what someone said, and it's true. I just gained seven in it. Let's gain some more. Hmm. This is not the greatest I've ever seen here. Okay, I delivered some damage. Not a whole lot, though. The hand cannon's an interesting weapon. It loads a lot faster than a pistol. Let's take a look at it. Doesn't look that impressive. Let's see here. You want to get the big mass of people. Okay, I took out a Hillman. It's better than nothing, I guess. And he's the best around. The Macs certainly aren't going to bring him down. He's the best around. Firing his hand cannon into the ground. Which is pretty much what I'm doing. 
Let's hold on to it. I don't think we are going to have to worry about losing the city to the Mac. I do have, what is it, like 200 Jatu Lankabarts? All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording until battle is joined to save you time. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Things are about to get a little extreme. Oh, he's a lord. Let's get him. Get him. No, get him. I'm using the mace, right? It feels weird without the sound. All right. My men are just making it very hard here to hit anything. I don't understand. But let's point blank hand cannon these guys. That should be exciting. If only my troops would get out of the way. All right, boom. Nice. Look at all that damage. <laughs> okay, that's how you're supposed to use a hand cannon. I like it. I like it. And fire! <laughs> oh, this is fun. I just need my men to hold them steady. And fire! My crossbow skill is rapidly rising. Only five more shots, unfortunately. And fire! <laughs> so much damn! Look at all that! Look at all that experience! I think I found my new favorite weapon. At least in this one specific instance. This is awesome! Point blank hand cannon. Nice. And looks like we're going to get one last shot here. Done. Poke. Poke. I've never actually used this in a siege battle. I only use it when I'm on my horse. But I guess it has a really long range. And it's probably, from what I've found, it's the best thrusting weapon. It's terrible at swinging. But at thrusting, it's pretty good. As you can see, I'm actually taking out these armored guys. This probably isn't that exciting for you without the men screaming and... explosions going off and all the stuff you normally expect during these battles. No, stop it! I want you to thrust. I love it how when I want to thrust, it won't do it. There we go. Let's just see how we're doing here. We have one dead, 19 wounded, and we've taken out over 200 of them. With this kind of history, why would anyone declare war on Ayutthaya? Like, Ayutthaya has this maniac who's just a one-man wrecking crew, and people still want to fight with Ayutthaya. It's just batty. Completely batty. Out of the way, Portuguese. Nice. Alright, mace time. Because he's all about that mace. About that mace. No saber. He's all about that mace. About that mace. No saber. Who are these guys again? The Mac, right? You have to be impressed by how they came back from nowhere, basically. They were they were done for. The lay had them crushed. And then all of a sudden, now they're one of the contenders. Lana's gone. Manipur is gone. Maraku is gone. Longvek is nearly gone. Johor is gone. Mac remains. You will all fall to my might. I am Frigoberto. Frigoberto de Valencia. Hi. 
Come on. I kind of wish the game sound wasn't buggy, but at least it works. At least it doesn't crash. I remember in Anno 1257, it would crash all the time. That was really annoying. Rigoberto is just a one-man demolition derby. Just like clockwork. You can't stand against me. I should punish the Mac for this by taking their city. Longvec. I could do it. I could do it without much trouble at all. 200 Chatulank Barts. That will definitely help. Gotta give him points for bravery, though, and I'm not. I'm not even getting close to him. The one problem with hand cannons is you're probably not going to find cannonballs just lying around. I will look, but... Pretty sure... Nope. Not that I can find. I guess we'll continue poking them. Poke, poke, poke. Excellent. Oop, mace time. All my Waco bandit leaders are doing what I pay them for. Interesting, though, that I have so many leaders without anyone for them to lead. Frigoberto is such a strong leader that the leaders have decided to be his followers. All right. Invasion over. We'll just take out this one last fellow here. And then we'll call it an episode, and I'll come back for the wedding, which I'm sure none of you will want to miss. It will be lovely. You will cry, most likely. And he's done. Frigoberto the Amphibian. Tipsuda went down. We lost a royal war elephant, but no Jatulankabarts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, Korat is saved, and I will go deliver my high-class troops to my hideout in preparation for the invasion of the Leylands. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.